Hi, my name is Peter Garland. I'm the former morning show host at AM 980 CFPL Radio in London. During my 12 years in the Royal Canadian Air Force, I was on the Pine Tree Line um, as a radar operator and watching the skies over Canada for the Russians, which and they never arrived actually, but that's okay. In the meantime, uh, these little Pine Tree Line uh, bases had actual volunteer radio stations. So um, Peter volunteered at a couple of those bases and kind of got the bug. And uh, in 1969, I was transferred to North Bay, Ontario. Picked up the North Bay Nugget one weekend and there was an ad looking for somebody to be a weekend announcer. So I went out there. Now the bug got really instilled and uh, a few months later I was on a, uh, on a leave and went to uh, visit some family in Stratford, Ontario and walked up to the radio station general manager and asked him for a job. It's a little more challenging uh, nowadays than it was for people who started out when I did, for instance. Uh, you know, you don't just walk into a radio station and, and, uh, and apply for a job. You have to um, have a great desire to, to work in broadcasting, not necessarily on the air. There are many other facets of broadcasting besides on air, but you definitely have to have some sort of spark and bug and desire to succeed because there's a lot of competition out there. My mentors were, I, and I, I guess a lot of people share this, my parents who provided me with a great upbringing, a great example of how to, uh, how to do what you want to do and follow your dream and also at the same time perhaps help others. I must say that uh, people in my life have been great mentors too, particularly my wife Ann Hutchison who mentors me almost every day, thank goodness. During my years as a morning show host, I became involved with a number of charities simply because they kind of popped up and, and, uh, and, and grabbed my heart. And one of them was, of course, the, the story back in 1987 that surprised a lot of people who regularly kind of have full cupboards. There were people in London, Ontario, who were going hungry. Jane Roy and Glenn Pearson brought that to our attention in 1987 and founded the Food Bank. And I was doing the morning show at CFPL Radio, so we decided to to uh, get involved and that's carried on throughout the years and, and I've carried on uh, having sat on the board at the food bank since, uh, since 1992. So that's something that sprang out of my, my broadcasting career that I'm still involved with right now. Also, uh, one of my great passions is uh, being on the board of Jesse's Journey. Sadly, uh, we lost Jesse uh, about a year ago, but the fight continues and so I continue to be um, passionately involved with uh, Jesse's Journey and the Food Bank and a number of other uh, charities and organizations in town, including the Secrets of Radar Museum, which is one of the gems that we have here in London. As far as retiring goes, I don't even know what that word means anymore, to tell you the truth. I think they have to invent a new word about retire people. Guys, uh, people out there, if you're working right now towards your retirement and you think, okay, when that day comes, I'm going to get on the front porch and sit there and watch the cars go by. Don't do that. Don't do that. I've retired from being on the air every morning to um, basically volunteering and uh, doing stuff that interests me. And, uh, and uh, so there's no retirement at all. And I'm going to stay unretired until I'm retired by the man upstairs. <laughs>